Hello and welcome to my channel learn to become an animator. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can use the studio library. The studio library is a very beautiful tool for the animation and very helpful. You can store your poses, animation, expression poses, all the mouth chart poses, lip syncs, everything and you can reapply to your any character. Let's begin. How you can install the studio library, you can download the studio library, how you can take the animation from your Maya to the studio library and how you can reapply it. Let's begin. Studio library is the free software. The Google and type the studio library. Studio library. Here the first website you can find here studiolibrary.com just download it now here we have a studio library it's very easy to install just open the Maya and go to your download folder where the studio library is there just drag and drop this install mail into the viewport and this icon will pop up in your self area just click on that icon then you can see here your studio library now let me show you for example we have a run cycle here and you want to take the whole animation and store into the library and you can reapply in the other scene or the same character if you are using in the different scene you can reapply very easily let's select all the controls of your character any character you can select select all the controls and go to the studio library now you can create your own folder here I am creating culpace underscore run so this all the libraries will be stored in your local machine now we have selected all the controls of the character go to the studio library right click if you want to import the animation just animation create select the animation and name it run cycle run and save it will ask to create the thumbnail if you want to create the thumbnail yes if the scene is very heavy multiple characters so many characters and if you think you don't want to create the thumbnail it's fine just say yes it will capture the screen and you can see our run cycle is stored into the studio library now if you move your cursor on it you can see your run cycle is playing let's see how you can apply into the character for example you have this character in the scene there is no animation let me show you we can delete all the animation from here that's it delete just zero out all the characters I mean zero out all the controls and all the values so we don't have anything here and let's delete delete all the keys so you can see I have scrub nothing is there in the scene just select the control of the character which you want to apply it should be similar in the library and the your scene file just select the control go to the library right click on the thumbnail select the content so it will select all the control of your character which you have selected and just say apply so now here you always you have to select the current time if you select the current time it will apply from the uh, where your time slider is there this cursor so go to first frame and apply now you can see our animation is back the same way this is very important and very helpful tool for the animators same way you can create the pose and store the pose if I want to save the pose only this pose for example I can save it the pose right click 
new and the pose now frame 3 you can click here to grab the thumbnail and save now we have the pose here and we have the animation this way you can use the studio library to make it your animation workflow very fast and very easy and uh, if you have multiple people working on something you have created one run cycle and you want your to share with your friend it's very easy to do this through the studio library so i hope this would be very helpful tips for you once again thank you for watching and see you at the next video if you like my tutorial you can subscribe and share thanks a lot